Let's take a look at the four W's with regard to support structures in your 3D prints. Four W's, that's why, what, when, and where. W number one, why. Why are support structures needed? The 3DP1000 3D printer utilizes FFF, fused filament fabrication, which works on the additive manufacturing principle of heating and laying down material layer by layer creating an object. Support structures are needed when material must be deposited on a layer where there was not a previous layer. This is common in more complex models which include steep overhangs or hollow structures. You can broaden the potential of your 3D printing by using support structures. W number two, what? What material can be used for support structures? With a printer that has just one extruder, known as a single extruder, you will likely use the same material for supports as you use for the part you are printing. These support structures simply break away from the part after printing. If your printer has two extruders, known as a dual extruder, you have the flexibility to print support structures using different materials, such as water-soluble PVA, polyvinyl alcohol, which dissolves in cold water, making it ideal support material for complex ABS or PLA prints. W number three, when. When are support structures needed? If your model has areas that overhang, over 45 degrees, you need supports. Let's take a look at a model of a teapot. Due to the extreme angle of the overhang, this teapot would not be printable without the use of supports. W number four, where. Where do I need to add support structures? This is where the 3D printing software can help you. The software automatically places support structures where they are needed based on the parameters you set. Let's take a look at the support tab in Simplify 3D. We'll click the Generate Support Material button. Then we set the infill percentage. This is how dense you want the support structures to be. Now let's set the support pillar resolution. This determines the diameter of the support structures. Sometimes it is necessary to dig a little deeper. You can manually add support structures where you think you need them, or conversely, remove them where you think they aren't needed. Select the manually defined supports icon and add and remove support structures as you see fit. Once you are comfortable using support structures in your 3D prints, you will not be limited by overhangs or complex models. The sky is the limit.